No electronic device likes water. They corrode and seize up. But a new invention has come to the rescue designed to repel water and pretty much any other liquid. And it looks as if it may well become standard issue in the mobile phone industry. Is there a term for what you've invented? The technology that we use is liquid repellent nanocoating technology. This gives products an ultra-thin protective layer, both inside and out, that allows liquids to bead up and roll off. And this layer doesn't just protect electronics, but any solid object. Dr. Stephen Coulton turned his doctoral thesis into a career. His crucial initial research was sponsored by Britain's Ministry of Defence. The actual project, the funded project, was to be able to provide maximum protection to soldiers' uniforms so, so that they could repel liquids, not just rainwater, but also chemical nasties like nerve agent. We did um, about a year's worth of research and then found a technology, which I guess was the eureka moment, where we put certain drops of liquid onto fabrics and rather than being absorbed into it, they beaded up and rolled off. So there are soldiers now, British soldiers, wearing stuff that has been treated by your technology? That's correct. Coulson first successfully tested his repellent technology on a piece of cotton, but it works just as graphically on newspaper. Water just rolls off in tiny droplets or beads. Here's where the magic happens, a process at the molecular level, so small the naked eye can't see it. An object is placed inside the chamber. Air is pumped out to make a vacuum. A special gas or plasma activates the surface of the object. A chemical is sprayed into the chamber, which coats the object inside and out. This coating is a thousand times thinner than a human hair. So let's test my own phone. I'm going to risk my own phone and put it in the water and see whether the phone still rings when it's dunked. Yeah, go for it. Gosh, gosh, it actually does work. Coulson's company, P2i, pioneered this technology with mobile phone giant Motorola. It's already coated more than 10 million phones. The company is now working with all of the top 10 mobile phone manufacturers in the world. As well as electronics, the technology can be applied to clothes. Once treated, liquids just bounce off, repelled by an invisible barrier. A key part of Coulson's strategy is targeting big brands like Adidas and Nike. The aim is to get a P2i chamber installed as a standard part of every manufacturing assembly line. So, how do you see the future? We see the future with everything being treated with by P2i's technology. Turnover has been doubling every year. Their forecast for this year is $20 million. So far, it's mostly been mobile phones and running shoes that have been treated in these huge stainless steel vacuum chambers. But they've also experimented with tennis balls, surfboards, and the nose cones of Formula One racing cars. The fact is that any solid object can be treated in these chambers. And this makes this technology a pretty watertight proposition for so many of the products we use every day.